It's just that when it comes to Pentecostal churches, they can make living difficult. Some of them, they can go to the extent of even threatening to curse you. Yeah. And I think that's where the question comes from, where you want to leave the church and you just want to do it rightly. You want to do it peacefully, but you become threatened and, you know, they can threaten to curse you. Your, your life can become bad because you have left them. Look, I don't, I don't believe in that. I believe what the Bible says, that a curse will not fall where there's no cause. In other words, you know, God is not one-sided. Just because you are angry as a man of God, it doesn't mean God is angry with me by leaving. As a matter of fact, God can be angry with you <laughs> that you are refusing me to leave. <laughs> yeah, God can be angry with you that you are refusing me to leave. I mean, there was a time, and this is a lesson that every man of God can learn. There was a time when Hagar, Hagar was in the family of Abraham. A church is a type of a family. When I'm in a church, I'm in a type of a family. All churches across the world, we are part of the Christ family. So every church is a part of different aspects of the family of Christ. We are representing Christ. The highest or the head of the whole family is Christ himself. So when it comes to living the church, Christ is the most important person. Not a man of God. Christ. And I will show you why. When Hagar... There was a time when he wanted to leave the family of Abraham. At this point, he wanted to leave prematurely before her time. God had not released him to leave. God, not Abraham, God. So Hagar left without God releasing him. What happened? The angel of the Lord met her. It met her and told her, go back to your servant. Go back to your servant. And I believe that every man of God who is mature in the things of the Lord, when people want to leave you, you need not to threaten them that if they leave, they will die. Things will not go well according uh, with them. If you believe as a man of God that you've invested in people, that if they leave you, they won't make it. The wise thing to do, allow them to leave quicker so that they can discover that. You need not to threaten them about what will happen. Just inform them. You can even do this in private if you are very integral and you are mature. Because you know that they won't make it. Tell them that you know what? I'm concerned you won't make it. And give reasons. Don't just give threats without the reasons. And there are people like that. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't dispute you. There are people who God connect you with. And you know that if they leave you, they will struggle. There are people like that. But you don't need to say it as a threat. No, no, no. You don't need to say it as a threat. You tell them genuinely from a loving father to say, you know what? I think you might struggle in this area. So I feel I still need to contribute more. But if you feel like it's the time to go, I release you. Go. And you do that with an open spirit and say, if you struggle and you want to come back, the door is open. You know in your heart that they might struggle. But you don't want to make it difficult for them to leave. If you are mature and grown up, you allow people to leave you. Like the father of the prodigal son. Allow them to leave you so that they can learn their lesson. When they come back, the Bible said the one who has been forgiven much will love much. If you are a mature man of God, you are happy to allow people to leave, even though you know they're making a mistake. Because it is in their mistake where they will appreciate you on how you treated them when they faltered. I like Jesus. Jesus, there was a time in the book of John, chapter 6, when members were leaving him. And this is the lesson to any man of God. When people are leaving you, you are not the first man of God to be left by members. Even Jesus himself, members left him. He never threatened to curse them. He never threatened them that they will die. He actually gave them an opportunity. He met his disciples. He called them and he said, I mean, people have left. Don't you also want to leave? He gave them an opportunity. If you are a mature man of God, you give people an opportunity. You make it easy for them to leave you. Let people not be imprisoned by being in your church. As a man of God, you need to allow people to leave. When people want to leave, allow them to leave peacefully. Allow them to leave. Give them an opportunity to leave easy. If there are certain things... If they bought you cars, they bought you things, you feel like they want to... 
Even give them an opportunity that I know that you have bought me a car while you are still a member. Do you want to collect your car before you leave? It's an opportunity. You can do that as a man of God who's genuine. I don't want to feel like I owe you something when you have left. Give them those opportunity. You need to be open. Jesus gave the disciple an opportunity. So when you have members leaving you, understand you are not the first person. Even John himself, John the Baptist, the one whom Jesus said is the greatest. There are members of John who left him for his cousin Jesus. John never fought Jesus because he took his members. He understood that if I'm leaving a church, and this should be your concern, if a member of your church leaves, as long as he joins another family of believers, he has not been lost. You need not to be worried. He's still a member of the family of Christ. You should be more concerned when members leave you and they leave the church or they leave Christianity. That should be your biggest concern. If they leave you and they join another church, there could be other reason which I'm going to talk about than, you know, them not just wanting to follow you. So think about it thoroughly. Don't just fight people and threaten people. It is not good that when you leave a church, you hear men of God say, you shall be cursed and all that. The Bible say a curse will not fall where there is no cause. In other words, God is not one-sided. He cannot just release curses upon people just because you feel like there should be curses. You are not the only person whom God honors. God honors everybody. As a matter of fact, if you leave a church and you know you have done things correctly and a curse is released upon you, it will never work. Don't, don't even, he's just wasting energy. It will not work. He's wasting his time. Let him do it if he has got time, but it will never work. It will never. There's no way a curse can be released where there's no cause. It will, it will never work. That's even John never cursed people who left him. Jesus never cursed people who left him. He allowed them to leave. So don't be threatened by curses that are released when people are leaving the church. Most of the time, and it is, it is very ironic when you see a man of God cursing people because they are leaving his church. You must ask that particular man of God. Ask him. Man of God, before you started your church, where were you? You will find that he was a member of a particular church before. And he left that church. Not even one. Many churches. So the people who curse others for leaving their church, they also left churches before. They never fell from heaven and started a church. They were part of a church. And you find that the way they want you to live... They never left that church like that. The way they want you to live, the process they want you to follow in leaving them, they never left like that in their previous church. So don't come with all these rules that you never followed yourself to start your church. These are man-made rules. These are man-made rules. Don't take advantage of people when they honor you. I believe that people leave church because of various reasons. I will recommend that when you leave a church, inform your leader. Inform your immediate leader. Not everybody. You don't need to go up in the structure. Inform everybody. Leaving a church should not be noisy. Because when you join the church, you don't make noise. Why when you leave should be so dramatic? You want to meet people. You want the apostles to meet you. The directors to meet you. The senior pastor to meet you. Who met you when you joined? You just joined. I'm telling you, no curse can prevent you from leaving a church as long as you walk with God. He will protect you. He will cover you. Don't waste time being imprisoned in a church for the fear of a curse. I hope you are blessed with this message. And I know some of you might have questions. I want you to send us your questions. I know if I tell you to put your questions on Facebook, some of you are afraid of your men of God. Uh, you are afraid of the church members, that they might see that you have got questions about leaving. <laughs> so I want to make it easy for you. Send us your questions at questions at billtv.co.za. I know some of you, you are afraid of your men of God. You are afraid of the church members. They might attack you. 
send this question in private <laughs> nobody will see you at least if you put it on facebook they're going to see it if you put it on instagram they're going to see it now if you put it directly to our website i'm the only one who will see it and i will be able to address it so send your questions send your questions our team in Build TV, they'll be able to see those questions and submit them to me and I will address any question that you have. I believe that this is the most crucial part that most of you, you have got questions about. So I want to make it easy for you that you can send your question in confidence that nobody is going to see them. Even when I address them, I'll never call your name. I will never expose you because I understand that you are asking in confidence and you don't want this to be public so be open share your question ask your questions and i will address them because i believe that this is the most crucial topic that most people are struggling with and i will be able to address those questions live on our channel and we try to help you to ease the process i believe that god has given us freedom and no man should hold us in prison to the decision that we make. I bless you and I hope that you have a blissful day. May God be with you in Jesus name. Amen.